time now for your forewarn weather with Garrett James. All right, we are checking in with the first look of our weather with meteorologist Garrett James, who joins us live from southern Utah in St. George. And Garrett, I know the winds are just about to kick up a little bit. So what's the latest? Yeah, they're definitely going to pick up, especially over the next couple of days. And it's thanks to that next storm system that's going to be moving into the area. But for right now, let's take a look. We can see wind advisories are going to be going in effect at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and lasting until midnight going into Friday. So we're going to be anticipating 30 to 40 mile per hour wind sustained winds out that way with wind gusts up to 55 being possible. But in the eastern and southern portion of the state, you're going to notice that there are high wind watches that are going to be going into effect. They'll be anticipating 35 to 50 mile, 55 mile per hour wind sustained winds with gust up to 75 being possible in the areas in that high wind watch that's going into effect Friday morning and lasting until the evening. Look at the radar. We're not seeing any precipitation out there right now, but when will that change? Well, it's going to change when we see the high pressure move out of the way and that gives way pretty quickly. We fast forward and we can see by Friday that low pressure system moves into the area and that's when we'll start to see the wet weather return continues through the weekend and that's thanks to another system coming in on Sunday. That's going to continue to provide chances for the Wasatch Front and I'll break that down here momentarily. But but high pressure, it does build back in by the middle of next week, and we'll be looking at that nicer weather trying to return. So let's take a look at what the future cast shows. It shows that we stay dry here over the next, I'd say, 24 to 36 hours, but Friday afternoon, that's when we'll be anticipating our first band moving into the area. We can see that by Friday afternoon around 3 o'clock, and then that clears up a little bit heading over into the midnight hour heading into Saturday, but then Saturday afternoon, We'll see that precipitation ramp back up once again, continues for several hours, but tapers off overnight heading into Sunday. But Sunday, there still will be the slight chance for a little bit of moisture in the northern half of the state throughout the day off and on. And then after that, things pretty much dry up and clear up for a couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures out there right now. We can see mainly in the 60s. St. George and Lake Powell still in the low 70s. Same goes for Hanksville, but 68 in Salt Lake City. But speaking of Salt Lake City, first 70 degree day of the year, not alone just the year, but since November 6th. So just about 150 days and we're right on track for average. Average first 70 degree day is April 1st. And that's not a joke. I promise you that. So just missed it by a couple of days. Lows tonight, we can see temperatures mainly falling into the 30s and 40s, but highs tomorrow show the 70s once again for Salt Lake City, 77 St. George, 70 for Kanab, and the 60s almost everywhere else. Take a look at the Wasatch Front. We can see 70s tomorrow, but 59 on Friday, then 45 as that cold front crashes through. Slight chance for a little bit of rain on Sunday, but we dry out after that. St. George, slight chance for rain Friday, isolated shower Saturday, dry Sunday, but a slight chance on Monday with temperatures still in the 60s.